It's your water line. You can start at any any point on the third, any point. You don't need to measure it, right? So if I say, okay, I want my third to be here, a little bit, and then zigzag small and small and big, and then small to start, nice and tight, and then open it up <coughs> like this, okay? And then second line, you need to draw about a halfway point, about up and down, up and down, because that you don't need to know where the halfway point is. So you go like this, small and big, and then towards the center, maybe a little bit of that. See? This is the easiest part, right? Just up and down, up and down. So this is your short line. And that makes about half of or Roughly. <coughs> about half, yeah. And then your tree line, you go up and down this way. This that it's not gonna be the stick staying there, just to help you guide you the up and down and all that. Voila. Okay. okay. So And that only it. goes up to two thirds. Mm -hmm. Roughly, because uh, it's gonna it's gonna be, <laughs> you know. So if you look at your, your handout, <laughs> all the stuff is in there. So now, how to paint it? Okay. What? We're doing the painting for homework too? Yeah, I just okay. need you to do the midsection. Where is it? That much. This part. Mm -hmm. right. like, the, like the paparazzi. <laughs> so you see, this is a bit. The, this is the mid section here. But your choice of color is entirely up to you. As you can see, this is, you know, lots of fall color, and this one is, you know, kind of a, yeah. So this was the mixture. So it's up to you. So this is what you do. You see, it, it, it shows you it enclosed, you know, between the tree line and the shrub line, right? And I want you to do only half at a time, one at a time, and then you continue on to this one, okay? So make it two parts. Why? So you do one at home and then we have to No, no, no. You do this one first, and then when you, when you finish this part, oh, I then you oh. go like that. Because there's a few steps, so I'll show you, okay? But why do you want to do only half at a time instead of all the way Just through? Wait, Just wait, just wait there, because you won't be able to do all of it all at once. You were not that fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, water. Now, of course, you can make sure that your palette is always nice and wet, so you can spend two seconds to say, you know, I want it to be fall color. No, oh, maybe not. I want it to be green. Oh, no, maybe fall color. Then an hour later, you know, and then you finally make up your mind, you know, and, uh, right? You know what's the one. <laughs> no, you know what, the first one, just grab whatever you have on the table and then do it. So first thing first, you put a little bit of water in between. Don't go all the way down, just a little bit to start, okay? Then you draw. So you do negative to the shrub line. Oh God, negative. It's easy, your pencil is lined is there, right? That's why you would have pencil lines. You follow the pencil line roughly, like this, right? And then to the top with the tree line. See, right now I'm just using one color, but if you want to have different colors and have fun with it, this is when all the multiple color goes in, right? See that? See, you follow the pencil, the, the little tree line, pencil line here, and then you continue to get more. So follow the sharp line underneath, and tree line. It's really it's just very wet, and uh, you just keep going like this. And then the fun part is just to, your choice of color. Everybody's gonna have different color that you pick, right? This is really quite uh, straightforward, nothing complicated, because the pencil line is there for you to follow. Now, the reason why I said we need to stop at the midpoint is because we need to do something else here. Before, If you're going all the way down, come back, it's dry, oh, it's yeah. no good, right? So you can stop at any time, anywhere, and go, okay, that's done from there, right? So then you see, this, this is a time where you go, hmm. I think this color is kind of boring. So this is where you go in there and drop color, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So this you is called dropping colors. So yeah. these are actually the trees we're painting right now. Right, the strip in the middle. We're the not strips. dividing it yet. This is just the first coat, see? That's why when we go into here, you will divide and then you will turn into all sorts of things, okay? So just follow this, you'll be good. So here we go. And then you go, okay, are we happy? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, eat some red. 
Yeah, yeah. No, forget it. I'm quitting by. <laughs> okay, so if that's what the color I want, then next color is the black. Black and green. Okay? You want the green, then you make sure you do black. Any color you want, it has to be dark color. And this is where you go into some of this peat here. And then you you let it melt into it. Can you see that now? Yeah. yeah. Don't do them all. You're just going to pick a few that some of them look kind of funny, then you can change it. But wow. See how it melts into it? So yeah, but your paper stays wet so long. Well I guess we don't wet it. That's why you, you need yeah, to put lots of color, color with it. So like I said, don't cover everything. Just a few. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, of course, it's that always nice already. to have certain area that you go, you know what, well, I think I'll put another darker shoe here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, stay like this. Now. This is the white area in between. Okay, those are always nice to have, and this is what they call the sky hole. Mm -hmm. sky, sky hole. Sky hole. You know, the, you see oh, through. Oh, sky it. hole. Yeah, the sky hole. And then on top, plus the bottom as well. Sometimes you feel like going. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of black on the bottom here as well to create now negative into the shrub line. Can you see it now? See mm -hmm. it. Yeah, see, like that. See, okay. put a few here and there. It's still wet. That's why you see we do half only, so that you can actually control mm -hmm. it. See, look. Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing you do, sprinkle a little salt here and there, right? And then if you want, in between those trees, you can also put in a few deciduous tree with um, dead branches on. So the last color that you did was black with green, or green with yes. black. Yes, as long but as it's dark. Okay, right? so 